Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. It's Jibber Tactical. We're back down here on the Freedom Bench. So today we have part three. Um, I'm going to show you how the machine or the annealing part of the, this machine uh, works. I'm not going to be doing any annealing. I just want to show you how the uh, machine turns on, how it operates, and how the actuating arm actually works. Uh, I find it really fascinating on how this machine operates and I think you will too. Um, so stay tuned. Thanks. Alright guys, so I have an assortment of brass sitting here laying on the table here, okay? So right here we have some 3030 Winchester. Next to that we have some 65 Grindel. Next to that we have some Lake City 556 NATO brass. And then over here, we have some 300 blackout brass. And I'm going to show you how this machine runs and drops these down. Now, I'm not going to do any annealing, but I just want to show you how this machine runs. Okay, so I zoomed in so I can give you a better idea on what this is doing. So, in order to turn the machine on, you're going to use the knob at the top here. And I'm just going to turn this on. Your torch would already be lit. You would already have this set up and ready to go. Okay, I just want to show you how this works. So we're just going to jump this up to like 60. Annealing. And what I find awesome is it drops right out of the flame as soon as the annealing is done with this actuating arm. Now this is 3030 Winchester brass. Okay guys, now we got 65 Grendel brass in the machine and I'm going to show you how this runs through the machine. We'll set it up to say 55. Drops down into the flame and drops right out. This actuating arm is what I find quite fan uh, fascinating because it gets it out of the flame instantly. So obviously I wouldn't be running it this fast, but this is just for demonstration purposes, just to show you. All right guys, next up is the Lake City 556 NATO brass. We're going to turn this up. We'll do, a, we'll do 45. In the flame. Drops right out. In the flame. Drops right out. In the flame. Drops right out. Now, the process, obviously, you're, once you start annealing, you're going to have to find how long you're going to need to be on your timer. So we'll speed this up a little bit. And you can see the rotation is, is just amazingly, I don't want to say perfect, you know, rotation, but as perfect as you're going to get. So that was 556 five, brass. Now what we have in the hopper is 300 blackout brass. And we'll turn the machine on and let's see how it runs. We'll set it at we'll set this at 50. That actuating arm is just too cool. It's, it, it just instantly gets the brass out of the flame. And, you know, annealing is just that. You want to anneal it to the point to where it's just, just starting to glow. And that's the method I use, is the glow method. I don't use Tempelac. And obviously I'm not annealing right now, I'm just showing you how the machine works.
All right, guys, here's a more close-up look so you can actually see what this actuating arm is doing. So I'm going to turn the machine up. We're just going to go to 50. And this actuating arm is just... It's, it's an awesome idea. It really is. We're going to bump this up to 65. All right, guys, thanks for watching. Uh, truly appreciate it. Uh, please smash that thumbs up button. It's always appreciated. Um, I will have the next part of this series, which will be, uh, whether that be part four for the prep center station uh, coming up uh, here shortly. So you guys, uh, please, like you always do, smash that thumbs up button. Please share, like, and subscribe. And like I always tell you, my name's Jerry Bear Tactical, and I hope to see you out on that firing line. Later.